Hello, hello, welcome back to another Galactic Science tutorial. This is another power system. I had just finished recording actually the uh, tree farm one that's uh, quite over there. Uh, this one relies only on three water sources for its uh, input, and uh, I'm using three decomposers here, a better barrel, and some sterling generators, six of them in this particular case. I have a fascination with the uh, powers of three, apparently. Uh, <clears throat> to generate the power for the decomposers and have a bit of power left over, um, I had just set this up, so it is running uh, still to power these up first. <clears throat> So the transfer node liquids um, is set up over a infinite pool of water that is three blocks wide and only one block deep, of course. Uh, in the transfer node uh, liquids, I do have three world interaction upgrades, which are crafted through uh, this means. You do get one of these as a quest reward, so do keep that in mind as well. That you can actually start this off pretty fast. Uh, I also have two speed upgrades in this just to help speed up the process of getting to the individual three decomposers. And the speed upgrades are made in this fashion uh, with redstone blocks and gold. You do get some gold for a quest as well. Um, the transfer pipes are crafted with uh, stone slabs, glass, and redstone. You get eight of them per one. And you will need. Um, but, 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 uh, 13 of them, I believe. Yeah, 13. Uh, for, for this exact setup, anyway. Uh, from there, the transfer nodes, uh, the, the, the liquid of water is going to the top of these decomposers and bidding, uh, getting put into the internal liquid storage here. Uh, the water is then getting decomposed into the hydrogen and oxygen, H2O, as everyone knows water is. And then these transfer node items uh, on the bottom are extracting them. Each one of these has a pseudo round robin upgrade, a stack upgrade, and a singular speed upgrade. You can put more speed upgrades in there if you so desire. And I would actually recommend it if you wanted to expand this more than six sterling generators. To the left of the decomposers, we have a better barrel. Um, drafted with oak wood, or the, the, the wood logs, uh, a chest, and a slab. Uh, with a structural mark 1 and 2 installed on the barrel so uh, iron ingots and planks for the mark 1 and just iron for the mark 2 the barrel also has a void upgrade uh, so two pistons and obsidian to get the void upgrade oxygen cannot be burned through these and there is no other use for them uh, for fuel in this particular setup so they just get stored away, and when this gets filled up, they are trashed as uh, miscellaneous items that are not needed, it's excess. Um, these are all put with transfer pipes underneath. The sterling generators get the hydrogen and produce the power at 20 RF per tick um, for only a thousand RF, but uh, that's quite a bit for this particular setup. Uh, in the back we have the aluminum wire that actually powers all of these uh, machines, or these three machines rather, and that is really all that there is to this particular setup. Uh, it's nothing too fancy. This is a bit slow, it doesn't generate a, a ridiculous amount of power like as I've been talking here. This has gained uh, some power overall, but these still have yet to fill up. Um, you could go for more sterling generators if you so desired, but again I would recommend more speed upgrades in these transfer nodes down here. Uh, but other than that, <clears throat> this will create infinite power. You can downsize this to just one de chemical decomposer, one barrel for the oxygen, or even a trash can, which can be made uh, very simply with a chest and a few pieces of cobblestone and some stone. You can make a trash can and just have it trash all oxygen items if you so desire. Uh, but yeah, uh, the sterling generators are creating the power and this is infinite. As long as these uh, water blocks do not go away for whatever reason, this will constantly pour liquid into these decomposers and create the H2O components and allow you to create power infinitely. Uh, but that is it. Th that is all there is to it. It's very simple, very easy to expand upon with more decomposers, more just sterling generators, or whatever else you wish to use to create power from the hydrogen. Yeah, simple enough. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials for galactic science as well as my uh, 
actual series of the modded Minecraft pack. That was horribly worded. <laughs> I have the, uh, the mod pack. And uh, until next time, take it easy.